Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so following on from last week's vlog, um, obviously I've mentioned that I have um, changed my name. So that's my legal name and not my pen name, just to clarify. So my pen name, Isla Golden, is staying the same. Don't need to worry about that, don't need to think about that too much. Um, but my legal name, which I'm not going to mention here, has changed. Um, I've, I'm fairly, fairly good way through my list of things that I need to update. Um, I did a lot of stuff last week. I took Saturday off um, from, from doing anything because although I there's not a huge amount of stuff that I've got left to do. I am getting now towards the, the slightly harder things to do. I mean, a few of them are still relatively straightforward and easy. It's just the hassle of finding the right people to contact. And I just wanted like a day off of just not having to think about about it, especially because I've done a lot of the most important things. Um, one of the remaining more important things that I need to get sorted, um, which I'm going to start putting into to motion today, is updating my passport. Um, so it's been a while since I updated my passport last. I actually think I'm probably coming up on 10 years fairly soon anyway, now that I actually sort of stop and think about it. I think it might have been about seven-ish years ago that I actually updated my passport now that I think about it. Um, but I haven't actually resembled my passport photo for a while. Um, so, uh... As you who have followed this vlog, if anybody um, will probably be aware, when I first started this channel, I had hair that was about down here, I had a central party and, and, and it went straight across. That's not the reason why I don't currently resemble my passport photo. Yes, my hairstyle has changed twice, probably slightly more depending on like all the little minor differences between the haircuts each time. Um, but essentially long bob short that's that's what I'm talking in terms of, of hairstyles I'm not like specifically going to call out all the very minor differences between like length and whatever each time like the, the, I've changed my hairstyle twice in that I've gone from straight long hair to a bob to short hair um that's what I'm going to be talking about in terms of hairstyle and that is one of the changes um or one of the differences between how I look now and how I looked or or how I how I looked when my current passport photo was taken. The other thing that has changed is that that passport photo was taken right before I was at my heaviest. Um, and I know it was right before because it is the... I got my passport updated right before one of my friends got married. Um, and the reason being is that she was getting married in Scotland and me and the two friends who live in Plymouth who were going to go to her wedding flew flew to get to Scotland. Um, so we got a lift to the airport and then we, we flew. Um, so obviously I needed to get my passport updated because at the time the passport I had was just about to go out uh, to expire. So I got it sorted just before that. Um, and then around about the time of the wedding, maybe a little bit afterwards, uh, which was only like a few months after that passport photo was taken, I was probably at my heaviest. Um, I don't want to say for definite that I was at my heaviest when the photo was taken or I was at my heaviest at the wedding itself. I know it was around that sort of time frame that I was at my heaviest because it was towards the end of that year that I started. Um, it's towards the end of that year that I got my pain up under enough control to start look at ways of losing weight in order to get my pain under better control. Um, as I have mentioned previously, my primary motive for losing weight has been to get the weight off of my joints. Um, the reason being for this, I have two chronic pain conditions. Um, so my weight loss, my weight loss has always been for health beneficial reasons, and the primary one being the less weight that there's there is on my joints, the easier it is on my joints, the less pain my joints are in, and you know the better my life is and um yeah it, it's why i work so hard to keep on top of my weight 
Uh, but obviously, if you have a passport photo, photo taken when you are at your heaviest um, and then you lose a whole bunch of weight, you no longer resemble that passport photo anymore. Um, and I know it's not given to everybody because uh, different people carry uh, weight differently. I happen to be one of those who carries it a little bit in their face when they are overweight um, or when they are on the heavier end of, end, of the, end of things. So one of the things that changed the most when I lost the weight was the shape of my face. Um, and I know this because the next time I used my passport, and this is how I can be so sure of the time scale. So I, I, I had the trip to Scotland. Then the following year, I uh, went on a trip to Mallorca with my family. And by that point, I no longer resembled my passport photo, even though I hadn't lost all the weight that I would eventually lose. I think at that point I'd lost three and a half, maybe four stone. And in total, by the end of it, I would have lost just over five stone. I think it's closer to five and a half because after splitting up with the ex, it did dip a little bit below that again. Um, but I think I was about halfway through my weight loss uh, journey um, when, when I went to Mallorca and because the amount of weight that I'd lost by that point, my face shape had changed quite drastically to the point where I was questioned. <laughs> this is how I know. Um, uh, obviously, losing weight is not a reason to update your passport photo, um, or at least it hasn't been for me because I'm not somebody who travels a whole lot. Um, there have been a few times over the last few years that I have needed my photo ID, which is my passport because I don't drive. Uh, I've not learnt to drive, so I don't have a driver's license to do it for me. Um, but yeah, my passport photo uh, has been like my, my photo ID for things. So most of the time I, I'm fine. I don't need it for anything because um, as I said, I don't travel a whole lot. But when I was sorting my mortgage and stuff, again, I got questioned. <laughs> Are you sure this is you? Um, especially because by that time I'd had my, my hair changed. So I was now with the bob and with the side parting, um, so along with like my face shape changing, like the shaping of your hair around your face can also make a difference to how you look as well. Um, so I was like, yeah, no, no, it is definitely me. I've just lost weight since then. And then I got all the comments about, oh, you, you clearly lost a lot of weight, um, as, as you do. Um, but again, it, because it's one of those things which I don't use that frequently, I've not worried too much about updating it for that reason. Um, as I said, if it, if it was something that I was using all the time, uh, or if I was traveling a lot or something like that, then yeah, absolutely. I would have, you know, as soon as people were starting to say, oh, you don't look much like your passport photo, I would have updated it then. Uh, but because it's not something that I need to really think about too much in my general everyday life, um, I've not felt the need to update it until now because I've now changed my name and legally I need to. <laughs> um, so my plan for the rest of the day is to go out and get my passport photos taken um, so that I have them and then I can put them to one side and then I think I need to get my business manager to sign them for me because you need to have them signed by somebody who knows you in a professional capacity who can confirm that it is you. Um, I need to sort of look at the for me stuff to sort of check exactly what I need to do. Um, but it's not going to be until next week that I start sorting through that because so I need to get paid again because it's going to cost me money. <laughs> it's like, it's, like it's expensive. It's expensive changing your name. So like a lot of this, um, not all of the things that I've still got left to do, some of them are things that I can just like push through quite quickly, I hope. Um, but one of the things that I have to do, um, a couple of the things that I have to do will cost me money. So again, that's part why they're in part of the third wave and why I'm sort of like not rushing into doing them because I want to sort of pace out like how much it's costing me because, you know, uh, spending money. <laughs> um, most of the things that I've done so far have been like really straightforward and easy. Um, 
thing that actually has been the biggest hassle so far, interestingly enough, and this is something I'm going to sort of like put out there to anybody who is thinking about changing the name, their name anytime soon, is PayPal. PayPal requires more identification than my bank or my mortgage to change my name on it. Um, so PayPal requires three pieces of information. They require a photo ID, they require a proof of address, by which I mean like a utility bill or a letter from your bank or something like that, with your new name on it, with your address on it, um, as a proof of, of address. Um, and they also need your depot or marriage certificate or whatever it is to prove that you're changing your name. Three pieces of ID. It's one of those that's going to take me a few weeks to get. One of those, like, I'm going to start getting through now. And, like, the other one, obviously, I've got sorted. But, like, one of those is going to take me a few weeks. And I'm like... So, I looked into it, and you can delete your account, and then re-sign up with the same email. Now, I know I do have a few, like, frequent payments that kind of go through it, and I don't, like, some of them are, like, annual ones, and some of them, well, one of them is, like, a monthly one, and that one's coming up soon, so I will know how that has been affected, but theoretically it's the same email address and it, yeah I we'll, we'll see we'll see how it goes um hopefully it won't affect that too much if not it just means I have to re-sign up for for these things which is fine I can do that I can sort that um it's not like most of my things go like most of my monthly like payments go through PayPal first it's just like one or two things that do so we'll see you know how it affects that but yeah logistically speaking it was actually easier to just delete the account and reset up the account <laughs> with the different name um, and it would have been tapped away on my third bit of identification in order to sort it and I don't understand why PayPal needs three bits of identification to change your name when none of my banks have required it None of my bills have required it. The government haven't required it. <laughs> I mean, I get the feeling it's probably because it's like PayPal is like American based company. And I know the laws and regulations around changing your name in America are different to what they are in the UK. And like their UK brand probably has to fall within certain guidelines because of that. Um, but it does feel like really, really ridiculous that they need more more proof of identification than anything else that I've had to deal with so far. And yeah, it is making me kind of go, why? <laughs> why are you being so difficult? Um, and because I didn't want to have to wait up to a couple of months, because it can take a while for your passport, like your passport to be renewed and to come back to you. They always say like, never do it like right before you're about to take a trip or we leave at least two months and i'm like i don't want two months of having my dead name on my paypal because i'm having to wait on my passport much easier to just like delete it and, and start again it's not like you know i do everything through my paypal it's only like certain things i do through my paypal and we'll see. hopefully they won't be affected too much but we will see um but yeah, it, it's it's ridiculous that PayPal requires so much identification, but that's just a uh, forewarning to anyone who is <laughs> forewarning to anyone who is looking to update um, their PayPal um, or is looking to, to change their name uh, for whatever reason, whether it's by depot, whether it's by marriage or anything like that. Yeah, PayPal require three bits of identification photo, photo ID, proof of address, and whatever certificate of name change that you have, um, or whatever proof of name change that you have. So, yeah, take, take that on board, be prepared for that. I mean, I think, I think if I'd known that, 
like before I was starting to to update and change things, yeah, I, I probably would have like done my passport a little bit sooner. Um, I would have put like my passports like part of the first wave rather than the third wave. You know, because I would want to get my like PayPal changed soon. Because as I said, I don't like do everything through my PayPal, but I do do stuff through my PayPal. So I would have like prioritize things a little differently but like it, at the same time it's it I, I've sorted it I've, I've found a way of sorting it it's just yeah just be aware that it's the trickiest one to do of things that you wouldn't expect to be tricky like even like the guys worked with cause like when I got the last my bank accounts changed and uh, he was like, if you've got PayPal um, and it's attached to your card, you know, once you get the new card, make sure you update your PayPal as well. And I'm like, yeah, but my, my, my PayPal's are through the bank accounts directly for the most part. Um, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue there. They actually, the hardest thing is to, to update my name because they need more than one proof of ID. And he was like, really? And I'm like, yeah, I think they need at least two because I'd looked at it briefly at this point. And now they need three. Because it's and, 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 not or, or, or. And I'm like, thanks. Thanks, PayPal. So, yeah, my solution was to just delete my PayPal. Start again with uh, the same email address and then hope that that doesn't interfere too much with certain things. Um, we shall see. All right, okay, I hope you found this one sort of interesting. I hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever it is I'm going to be talking about next time. And I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my others. And if you like what you see, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching. See ya.